episode of this camper van conversion. Just before we get into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So in this episode, we're going to be fitting the solar system so we can eventually charge the batteries up and get enough power to supply the van and hopefully be off grid. So next to me here, I have three solar panels that are each packing 150 watts, giving me a total of 450 watts. Each solar panel is a mono crystal solar panel and these are meant to be the best for charging your batteries up. So now we've gone through all that, let's crack on with it. So you just watch me install the solar panels on the roof, but um, I've made a few adjustments since then. So I'll just talk you through them adjustments now. So I did actually rivet the frame down at first, but I've decided now to bolt right through, as you can see. And I've also put it on a bit of a pitch. This is why I've got my dodgy packers in here. But um, it's absolutely solid, like, and it's going nowhere. So this is actually 50 mil from the back to the front on a tilt and uh, eventually you want to get an angle made that will cover all that there going up and it will just look a lot, lot nicer. just installed the solar panels so now we're going to come down here and install the other bits and bobs that go with it and I'll just talk you through them now and then I'll show you how I went about installing them this is the DP switch that I've got and this just isolates the power from the solar panels um, to your solar charge controller and your batteries when I turn this on this will light up because I've got energy coming from the sun into the van there we have it but if we wait a second yeah so now i've got no battery life because i have this little 50 amp breaker so which is isolating the batteries this isolates the batteries from this system so if i just turn that on now as we can see, I've got full charge. What I also don't show in the video is um, how I I rearranged the wires as well, because they had second thoughts on them. So I'll just show you, what I'm, and I'll tell you very quickly on how I rearrange the wires. So as you can see, this DP switch now has no wires coming from it. So they've all come gone through the back and round the back and then they've come out into there so that's about as neat as i could get it like got the temperature sensor that needs to plug in here and go into the batteries between this the solar panels the temperature and the batteries and i'm pretty sure this box 
puts all that information together and tries to charge the batteries as best as it to its ability. That's what I'm thinking on that. That's what I've seen somewhere. So yeah. So now I'll talk you through the batteries. So here are the batteries. So each one of these batteries is 200 amp hours. So I've got 400 amp hour batteries. And I think the AMG, if I'm saying that correctly, they're a sealed unit. So don't have to worry about um, topping them up like some batteries, you have to top them up with water. Um, yeah, so that's the batteries. Now I'll take you on up to the electric cupboard and I'll show you what I've done up there. So let's head on up. It's a little bit of a mess at the minute, but I'll show you it dead quick because it's still a work in progress. So, this is my fuse board here. And this is where everything's going to be run off. So, I'll show you dead quick. These are my switches. Oh wait there, I've got it turned off. Uh -huh. I also have a breaker on the batteries at the back there. And the, well, it breaks the batteries to the fuse board up. So that'll turn that power off there. So now we've got power. So I'll just turn this on like quick. As you see that lights up. Got my plumbing system going. Turn that off because it's noisy. Yeah, so this is the this is to do with the solar panels, this up here. So I've got a little happy face like I have now. Um all systems go. And I've got this here, which just indicates how much gas is in the gas tank. So yeah. Obviously it's empty at the minute because I haven't filled it. Just a little recap you time on the solar panels. You want to make sure you fix these down well because you don't want to be driving down the motorway and all of a sudden you just blow off because that'll be an expensive trip. So on that note, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned, stay active and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.